But the, but the punctuation's throwing you off a little bit. A little bit, because I don't know. Am I going to procure these nuts hot, or do I have to wait for them to get hot? And are they really hot? So I'm hoping that these nuts are hot, so I can enjoy hot nuts. Why do I have a question mark stuck to my forehead? And why did this woman bake a meatloaf in the shape of a semicolon? Because September 24th is National Punctuation Day, founded to promote proper punctuation, of course. Now, if you're a punctuation stickler, you know that traveling the roads and shopping centers of New Jersey can be absolute torture. You're just bombarded with punctuation errors everywhere. Look at this, Union Township. The Teamsters know there's power in a union, but only if you use the plural not the possessive. And at my favorite falafel joint, they're just tossing around quotation marks like a handful of hummus in a food fight here. Now, besides enjoying semicolon meatloaf, the organizers of National Punctuation Day suggest we celebrate by performing polite punctuation interventions. I stopped in this car dealership and mechanic shop on Route 22 in Hillside, whose sign has been a major source of agita for punctuation sticklers like me for a long time. Like a fugitive waiting for a knock on the door, Tony the mechanic knew exactly why I was there. Well, uh, I just saw you pointing to the sign. <laughs> Has anybody ever said anything to you before about yes. your sign? Yes, uh, my daughter. Your daughter? Yes. What did she say? She told me that somebody made a mistake, whoever made that sign. <laughs> I was going to say, did you get your money back? Who made that sign for you? Yeah, I never had a chance just to take that uh, apostrophe out. Now, Tony was born to Ukrainian parents and raised in Argentina. The guy speaks at least four languages, so he gets a pass on not identifying his sign maker's screw up. Time to take on an apostrophe catastrophe of historic proportions. We were down on the bridge, and they said the Tom's River was named after a guy named Tom, right? Tom, who like, founder? Yeah. It didn't be a Tom. So, if it's possessive, it's Tom's River. Why is there no apostrophe? It drives me crazy. Oh my god, and I'm on tape, and I'm an English major. Oh, you're right. This is like the typo of all times. South into Ocean County to the town of Tom's River. A town that takes its name from Thomas Luker, who married a local Lenny Lenape chief's daughter and settled along the river here. One Tom and his river. Tom's River. Apostrophe S, right? But where is the apostrophe? 1712. Uh listed Tom, apostrophe S, river. The question is, where did the apostrophe go in history? Has it ever bothered you that your town's name has a punctuation error in the name? No, I thought it was a, a, a missing apostrophe. Yeah. Like you said, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Does it upset you? No, not really. I don't even know where it is. You don't know where the apostrophe is? Where the river is. The river's right there. Maybe the apostrophe is in the river. That could be. Could have fallen in there in around 1850 or so. That long ago? Yeah. Jeez, I was just a little kid. That wraps up Ledger Live. Take it easy, Jersey.